everybody, I am My Radar Storm Chaser, Aaron Jajak, and today I want to take you on a storm chase with me, a little virtual reality storm chase, a, a journey on top of my chase vehicle as we go explore this new technology, 360 videos. I've been capturing 360 videos of tornadoes and I want to take you along and show you, talk about what's going on in these chases, and it's a really cool experience. You, know, you guys will love it, I think, and let's go get on top of the car and check it out. So here we are, the first tornado we're going to look at today in the virtual reality goggles. This is the Scarth Manitoba in Canada tornado that I documented in 2020, August 7th. And there I am with the camera looking at the tornado. And we pan back, we'll see that this road, originally we started the chase just down the road here. There's a farm here where the tornado comes right through this farmyard, but we were just to the uh, north here. This is looking north. You can see this motion right above us. Incredible sight here is one of the most photogenic tornadoes I've ever seen. It's just like being back on the chase here and just using virtual reality here to relive this tornado. And we'll watch it here progress. It's already, you can see it spinning up here on the ground and this debris coming around. So now I am gonna make an adjustment here because this area, the tornado comes right here, right through this area right we were just stopped at briefly. So we're gonna move a little bit to the south here make sure we're safe we'll take a look down the road headed down the road to get to safety here and we'll pull up here in just a second uh, the tornado is just getting going it was on the ground for about 15 minutes total and it's been on the ground at this point where we're watching the video right now it was on the ground for probably about i would say six minutes now at this point still an incredible view here this is one of the most unique things about this storm is that it was such a carved out clear slot here you see no clouds here the winds are wrapping around here, feet funneling in back into the storm. Incredible view here. And here we go. Now the debris cloud starting to become more defined as it starts to interact with the trees and buildings here in this farmyard. And at the same time, the tornado is maturing. So the tornadoes go through phases here. They are early on. They might be a little weaker, uh, a little skinnier. And then as they mature, they get more defined, bigger, bigger funnel cloud. Uh, a, a more defined debris cloud before eventually they rope out. And we'll, we will see that rope out later on as well. The EF3 winds here, this tornado was EF3 rated. And you can see I am popping out here away from the car as the, the tornado crosses the road, getting a shot of it, holding my camera. And you see the tornadoes. Now the, the tornado is just about reaching peak, peak maturity, peak, peak strength here. It's definitely EF3 winds in there at this point. This place has pulled debris at this point from the farm into the debris cloud and depositing it out, out here into the field. There I go across the road into the open field, fully condensed down now. There I am for scale compared to this monster tornado. And we're going to come back to the vehicle here in a minute because one of the things that I wanted to do immediately is I'm in the back of my mind all this. The whole time the tornado went from the road to this point, in the back of my mind, I was worried about the farmhouse and someone potentially being there. So my first order of business once this tornado got clear of this area was to go back to the farmhouse and make sure there wasn't anyone that was hurt to go do search and rescue, call 911. Wow, look at that. All the way up in the atmosphere. This is incredible. So now you can see it's starting to weaken now and get into that rope out phase. The beginning, is, beginning stages of the rope out phase. Here I come back to the vehicle, took a couple of still shots, coming back to the vehicle here, running back because I want to get back to this farm. And that is the end of this 360 video. So that was Scarth Manitoba, the 360 video of Scarth Manitoba. Uh, one of the most incredible tornadoes I've ever seen. And I was fortunate enough to have my 360 camera running and capture this incredible tornado that, you know, you can watch this video and really learn a lot about storms and meteorology just from this one video. So the next chase I want to take you guys with me on is the 360 chase here of the Lockett Texas Tornadoes. And this is from 2021, a supercell near Lockett Texas, fired up just to the west here and started producing tornadoes. And you see there's two twin, there's twin tornadoes here at this point, two tornadoes on the ground. And we're gonna move up here, up the road here, because I can see at this point that the storm is gonna make a path somewhere just here to my north. We're looking north here, this is northwest. And the road comes up here, turns to the, to the east, just a little bit to the north here. So here we go, and this uh, the tornadoes are starting to dissipate here at this point, because I had to stop to get the 360 camera on uh, when they looked a little better. But here we go, we're gonna come up here, and you can see it's just a dirt cloud now at this point. But you can see that the storm is rotating here. This is the wall cloud here, rotating around. 
At this point, I called 911. Uh, I'd stopped to call 911 to let them know that there was a tornado, an imminent, another imminent tornado about to form after those two formed. But just looking at this, the storm, you can just see here is just in, an incredible motion here with the storm rotating. And in fact, when I'm filming this right now, at this point, I was a little concerned because it looks like it's coming right at me, right? And so I was a little concerned. I end up backing it up back down the road here a little bit to get out of the way. So I was afraid it was going to come right here, right through me, right to the, at me at this location. Wow, look at this. Look at the speed of this coming around here. So this is a, the RFD punch right here. So now at this point, I'm like, oh, a tornado is about to form any minute here. You see this RFD comes wrapping around really fast. Sure, uh, one of the telltale signs of a, of a tornado about to form. I'm gonna get out of the vehicle, shoot some video, or get the camera on, the GoPro camera on. There it goes, I just said. There it go, right there. Red dirt on the ground. Tornado again, another tornado. Oh, wow, look at it, really spinning up now. So here we go, you can see the rain curtains now. Look at the grasses, the the, agri the, the the crops here just really ripping in the wind. Strong winds on my back here coming out of the out of the west. This is that RFD gets wrapped around. See the funnel cloud forming, there we go. Debris cloud now forming again. So these tornadoes, what they can do is they can kind of, they, they lift, they'll start to form and they lift and then they start to form again. And this one does that until it really starts to plant down. Really defined white ghostly looking funnel cloud here red debris cloud spinning around it. Look at that. Look at the crops just really ripping in the wind. Wow, there it is. Wow, look at that thing. Just misses that farm right there. So it like it went through the field here, missed the farm, and then it makes this turn back to the east southeast. Look at how bright that sun is. Let's look back. Look at the sun coming through now. Just lighting it up, rain coming down. And the tornado is now starting to dissipate. So a cyclic supercell here, just a tornado producing machine, produced about five tornadoes in the span of about 45 minutes or so. And this would be the final tornado that the storm would produce. It spins up in this, this red field. Uh, actually does some damage to a couple of houses and buildings down a little bit here, just down the road. This road goes down here and then turns back to the to the east. So this is south. We're looking south. Tornado is southeast of my location here. But we're going to go a little south here, uh, get a little closer to the tornado. Look at that funnel cloud. You can see the funnel cloud right here. Just really spinning rapidly on the ground. Or all the rain from the parent storm is all dropping down here. So there's all the rain and the hail is down over here rain free cloud uh, rain free base here and then a tornado coming out of that rain free base here's the house with the the roof is damaged uh this this out the, the garage got hit a little bit worse trees down you can see debris it was blown across the road sheet metal there's a power pole that came down there's that rainbow still still got a nice rainbow surprisingly you can get this beautiful rainbow with this tornado here's the funnel cloud right here so this was the locket texas 360 tornado chase, multiple tornadoes here. Captured it again, captured on 360 in 2021, just, just past April. So the last 360 storm chase, virtual reality storm chase I wanna take you on with me is the Mangum, Oklahoma tornado in May of 2019. And this was a high risk day. So the storm prediction center had issued a high risk, which is the highest risk level that, the, that they will issue for severe weather and their outlooks. And this day was forecast to be a major tornado producing day. Uh, the models on this day had shown multiple supercells across Oklahoma, down into Texas, tornadic supercells. And so this day had a lot of hype around it for potentially being a really dangerous, uh, you know, potent day for severe weather. As you can see now, here's the tornado. It's already down on the ground here, moving across the road in front of me. And we are looking toward the east here at this point. And again, just unlike the other videos where we looked, you can see again that clear slot starting to carve itself out here with this beefy wall cloud here, and then a tornado coming down from it. And this is a dangerous tornado, tornado here on the ground now. It's just about to cross the road. And there I go running out into the road to get the, a shot down the road as it crosses down the road. Perfect photography shooting form here. <laughs> Look at that form, great form. Looking down the road, my body's like a tripod. <laughs> and it looks like, I thought at this point, we might get a, a big wedge tornado, which a wedge tornado is a tornado that's wider than it is tall. 
At this point, I've decided I got to keep up with this tornado. I thought it was going to, again, I thought it was going to form a big wedge. And I did, and also on this big, this day was a, like I mentioned, it was a very hyped day for storm chasers and just for forecasters for the general public. You know, and if you live in Texas or Oklahoma, you're well, you're well aware generally of the weather because there is a lot of talk about what's, you know, when the, the forecasts, when it's a big day like this, that's forecast. So there were a lot of storm chasers out. I was worried about chaser convergence and we'll see that here in a minute. Again, you can see that, that clear slot. When you're this far from the tornado, uh, and you're trying to determine where the tornado is at, you gotta use these uh, these features of the storm to know where the tornado is at. Big bolt of lightning. But you gotta use features in the storm to know where the tornado is at if you can't see the tornado. So here I can tell that this is all the rain. Uh, this is the front of the storm. Here's the clear slot. So the tornado is somewhere down in there, but also those light, that lightning is generally, you see big bolts of lightning coming out right out of the updraft like that. You can also get the big the, the, the bolts from the blue that arc off of the storm out into the distance, but uh, one of the ways I determine a storm is strengthening is when I start seeing lightning bolts coming out of the updraft of the storm. Okay, so we've gotten to this main highway that Mangum sits on. Here comes all the storm chasers. Bunch of storm chasers trying to get back up with the storm here. A long line of cars. So here we see I've come, I've come into the town of Mangum. There's the tornado right there. And at this point, the tornado sirens are going off in Mangum. You can see the tornado and it's on just on the west side of town. So it just misses the town here and it goes, it moves along west and eventually it comes across town here to the north. Big elephant trunk. Now the tornado is starting to rope out again at this point. So it's become, it's, it's nearing the end of its life cycle. You can see, look at the strong winds, the RFD wrapping around, reducing visibility. You can barely see the funnel there. Just about done. You can't see it now. It's, it's roped out, it's dissipating. RFD still blowing winds, straight line winds here with rain across the road. And that's the 360 virtual chase of Mangum, Oklahoma. All right, so that was, whoa, thought I was looking this way. <laughs> well, that is the end of the 360 virtual chase. Uh, you know, I was really grateful to be able to capture that 360 footage for you guys and take you on this new technology using virtual reality goggles. You know, it's like, uh, it's bringing you guys right there with me on these, reliving these chases. Uh, incredible experience to be able to be there, but it's just almost as incredible to be able to witness it again and go back and live that and share that with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed coming on this 360 virtual chase with me. I look forward to capturing a lot more 360 videos in the future. Uh, you know, like technology is always improving, uh, getting better views. And you know, I expect someday that hopefully I can bring you guys on a live 360 chase with me and you guys can have goggles and be sitting there with me on these chases. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you guys out in the field. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.